Lab Plus is the Department of Pathology and Laboratory Medicine at Auckland City Hospital. The laboratory employs over 400 staff and operates 24 hours a day, seven days a week, yes. all year right. round. Today, four medical students are visiting the lab to explore career opportunities within medical laboratory science. One of those students visiting today is Asha Ali. I came here today to see what my career options are, to explore the labs and see if they're good for me in med lab science. Ross Hurd is the manager of Lab Plus and he gave an overview of Lab Plus's facilities and work to the students. We process close to uh, 1.2 million patient events per year and put out over four and a half million results per year. He explained that to become a medical laboratory scientist, they would need a Bachelor in Medical Laboratory Science degree. With medical laboratory science, you could have quite an international career. The advances in medical laboratory science is dramatic. Today, approximately 70% of medical diagnosis is carried out in medical laboratories. At Lab Plus, that diagnosis begins with the arrival of patient samples. Hi, I'm Kirsty. I'm a technical specialist in automation. Um, it consists of the modular pre-analytical system. So we stick samples on, usually whole blood. They get spun and separated down so we can test the serum. The MPA system aliquots the samples of serum into little Hitachi cups or pilot tubes. They then get transferred through the tracking system onto one of the analyzers and then the primary tubes go into the fridge over here. We do over 100 different tests. They range from normal kidney function, liver functions. We do tumor markers, hormones, um, HIV, hepatitis, serology. The most common form of test is a blood test. The automated blood analyzer performs a full blood count and counts the number of white cells, red cells and platelets. But numbers is not the only thing that we're looking for. Um, we make blood films and then the blood film plus the numbers, those are coordinated to make our diagnosis. These very red little cells are your red cells. That big cell there is a white cell. And these little purple ones here, they're your platelets. If more detailed and complex tests are required, then samples are sent to the appropriate Lab Plus specialised laboratory. But it's not only blood that is tested. In the special chemistry lab, a range of patient samples are tested. Lab Plus has the national contract to do bowel screening. This analyzer basically analyzes the hemoglobin content in fecal matter. What we're looking for is hidden occult blood. If they were to have cancer of the bowel, the hemoglobin content increases. The next stop for our students was a visit to the chromatography section of the lab. We um, test urine samples and blood samples and we look for a specific analyte and we're able to separate that analyte from different compounds in blood and urine and we run it through our analyzers. Um, we can look for antipsychotics and antidepressants. Um, we also can look for natural endogenous products in the body, so we can test for adrenaline and some of the metabolites to look for um, tumors that may be growing in the body. Um, this is the toxicology department. We focus on trying to detect drugs or chemicals that people might have taken. Um, this is our gas chromatography machine. So when we run patient samples through here, we get um, a chromatogram come up on the screen like this. All these different peaks are different drugs that we can see in the patient's sample. And then we can uh, match these peaks to a library that we've got in the computer, which has about 5,000 different drugs in it. The histology department of Lab Plus is where patient cells and tissue can be examined to help doctors diagnose a wide range of diseases. The specimen comes down in a pot like this one. The tissue samples are dried, then prepared for viewing on microscope slides by embedding into molten wax onto a cassette. Once the wax is dry, then the sample can be very thinly sliced. The slices are floated out on water, then placed onto the microscope slide. The slides are then stained, and those stains show up the different cells in the sample. Look, here you can see the nuclei, which have been stained by the hematoxylin stain, and the other cellular structures, which have been stained by eosins, and see if there are any abnormalities in the cellular detail. 
The students then moved on to the microbiology department. It's here that scientists are looking for potential pathogenic microbes in humans. These may include bacteria, parasites and fungi from a variety of different types of specimens from various body sites. Depending on the site and what type of organisms live in that site, um, we select our media. So it's we culture it onto different types of culture plates. And what you get is um, little colonies like that, which is Staph aureus. And this is a pathogen that causes um, pus and um, wound site infections. The greatest advancement in medical lab science has been in the area of diagnostic genetics, which provides an holistic approach to resolve clinical diagnoses with a genetic component using state-of-the-art technology. Imagine you've got a patient walking in and he's had recent episodes of fainting. We find out that he's got Long QT syndrome. Now Long QT syndrome is when he has an abnormal ECG wave. And based on that, it's very likely that he carries a mutation in the Long QT gene. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to obtain his DNA and we're going to analyze for Long QT1 mutation. The process of isolating the Long QT gene is complex. The highly specialised laboratory equipment, testing techniques and Lucia's expertise allows her to delve deep into the patient's DNA. After hours of processing, some innermost secrets of the patient's makeup is revealed, which confirms the suspicion that the patient is carrying that potentially life-threatening long QT gene. In here you can see you've got multiple fragments of DNA and then the second one is our patient, all right? And you see there's a bright band there and that bright band is our PCR reaction and it has worked uh, successfully. Tour over and now having lots to think about, is medical lab science the career for Aisha? Um, well, medical lab science has, is a very broad and interesting field so I would like see my options and see what, uh, what I'm interested in. But what are the skills that Lab Plus are looking for in young scientists wanting to join their team? Attention to detail is the important thing. Being able to work under stress because at times when um, the samples or the results are wanted quickly, there can be pressure on getting the analysis done. A good understanding of IT is very important. You need to understand science, you need to understand biology and chemistry. Have good English skills because you have to communicate to clinicians and to nurses you need to understand what they want or the sort of analysis they need. And also, you need to be able to think laterally as well. Think a little bit outside the square. Um, be able to troubleshoot. Those are the most important skills in my mind anyway. To become a medical laboratory scientist, you must have a Bachelor in Medical Laboratory Science degree. Medical laboratory scientists are like detectives and need to have good analytical skills. Once qualified and working as a medical laboratory scientist, there are broad opportunities to advance your career into management, information technology and the commercial sector. Medical laboratory science is a technology-driven science and with the huge advances in medical diagnostics, it makes for a very exciting and rewarding career. To find out more, visit the New Zealand Institute of Medical Laboratory Science website at nzimls.org.nz.